Hey guys, today Google announced Android P officially and here in this video I am going to show you how you can install Android P beta version via OTE. You can install it without your data loss. If you don't want to mess with unlocking your bootloader or the command line, you will get an update to the latest Android version if you are the part of Android beta program. That means if you have one of the eligible device, you can simply visit the Android beta portal and opt in to the beta which will then prompt Google to send your phone or your tablet an over the air update. So which devices are eligible for the Android beta program? If you have Google Pixel, Google Pixel XL, Google Pixel 2, Google Pixel 2 XL, OnePlus 6, Essential Phone 1, Sony Xperia XZ2, Xiaomi Mi Mix 2S, Nokia 7 Plus, Oppo R15 Pro, Vivo X21, then you can install it in one click. Otherwise, you have to wait. So let's get started and head over to Android Beta Program Portal on your Pixel or eligible phone. Open your browser and type android.com slash beta and hit enter. Sign in into Google account associated with that phone. Scroll down to your eligible devices. Find the device you want to enroll in the beta program and tap on opt in. Follow the prompts to accept the over the air download. If you want to leave the beta program, simply press the button on the Android beta program page to unenroll. Your phone will receive an over the air update to return to the latest stable version of Android. But your phone will be wiped clean upon rebooting. So back up your stuff. Now download the latest update which we got right now. And now it's time for installation. It will take around 10 to 15 minutes. Here you go Android P beta has been installed successfully and here are the top 5 changes you will see in Android P. Number 1 is Android will have new navigation gesture. Now with a half swipe up you will launch an overview screen. Also your app are listed horizontally and you can swipe left and right through them. Because they are running live you can even directly interact with them. Number second is a new dashboard makes you more aware of how you use your device. It shows you how much time you spend on your phone and allow you to set time limits to certain apps. Third one is do not disturb gets an update. Now you will see no visual notifications allowing you to better disconnect you from your phone. Fourth one is improved app shortcuts app doesn't just live in icon anymore you can just search for what you want to do like getting live home inside the app drawer at the top are action you do often like call your significant other and the last one is android p aims to improve battery life through ai using machine learning android p can predict which app you would launch next and automatically shut down apps you are not using so that's it for now guys Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.